What's up guys, Big Clive 34 coming at you fresh off of the Tesla Cybertruck reveal and I'm not sure if Elon Musk is a genius or if he's completely lost his mind. A combination of both. Is the guy trolling us? Is this gonna be the next big thing? Is it gonna be, I don't even know. So we're gonna dive into it. Essentially what I'm doing here is we just saw the reveal. Uh, there were lots of frills and you know theatrics. I'm peeling it down to the cold hard facts, the statistics, the specs, all of the promises coming at you with the Cybertruck. And we're gonna talk a little bit about them and dissect it. It has some really cool features from uh, an unprecedented quarter mile time, which we'll get to in just a second. And the thing is bulletproof for God's sake. So, I mean, if you can get over the fact that it looks like a DeLorean had a baby with a warthog from Halo, some people might like that and think it's unique, but it's basically like driving through your town with a tank. If you can get over that, I think that this thing has has so much to offer. Let's dive right into it. If you don't mind though, if you're watching this on YouTube, smacking the like button, Facebook like button works too. Uh, and if you're on Facebook, please share this video around, help it, help it get going. So let's talk about it. First of all, similar in size to the Ford F-150, that's about the first thing that Elon Musk said. So I think he wants you to picture this thing being the same as an F-150 in your head, but from there, nothing is the same. So uh, essentially it ditches the body on frame design, which is basically how every single pickup truck is designed. If you're unfamiliar, basically there's a frame sitting underneath, your bed is bolted to the frame, your cab is bolted to the frame. Instead, there is no frame in this. The entire body acts as a frame. It's an exoskeleton, the way he described it, that will kind of make you picture it uh, the way that it is, is like a fighter jet. In event of a crash, I would think that this would probably be a lot safer. Obviously, we don't have those numbers and statistics and crash tests yet, but I would be inclined to think that. Also, it's a lot more damage resistant in the display. Uh, they hit it with a sledgehammer. It doesn't dent, uh, it doesn't scratch. It'll basically be perfect. So if you're anything like me and you're super picky about the way your vehicles are, it might be hard to mess this one up unless you customize it, which is a whole nother thing that I just thought of, and now my brain's going in a different direction. Anyways, moving on, not only is it sledgehammer proof, the vehicle is also bulletproof. I am not joking, I mean, granted that he said you can only shoot it with a nine millimeter, it's bulletproof. It won't go through the glass or the doors. So in today's crazy world, maybe that'll help, maybe not, maybe it's a little bit paranoid, but anyways, moving on to the next bit. The truck does have an adaptive air suspension, which I don't believe is new for trucks. I know uh, a lot of trucks have the load leveling deal, so they'll have airbags in the back that make it go up and down. Kind of neat thing to have. Uh, it has 16 inches of clearance, which is supposed to be the highest of any production truck. There's active damping included as well, which basically controls the hardness of the ride. Uh, in a lot of trucks, you'll notice that, for example, I drive a 2500. It's the most luxurious 2500 you can get, but the ride still sucks because it's a 2500 series truck and the ride's hard. And this might be the same in a lot of 1500 series trucks depending on what you get. But with this active damping, what it does is when you're towing something or when you need that extra rigidity in your suspension, it'll make it more stiff. And when you don't, it'll make it softer so that the truck has a better ride. That has been a big knock on trucks for a while, even in the newer luxury trucks that they ride like crap. But this uh, active damping should be able to help that. Similar to a traditional 1500 series pickup, it'll have a six and a half foot bed that'll be able to haul along 3,500 pounds of payload no matter what trim level you get. There's gonna be three different trim levels that are mainly related to power. We'll get there in just one second. Um, but the top one you should know can tow up to 14,000 pounds. Now a quick search around the web seemed to indicate that the vast majority of these light duty pickup trucks won't be able to even get up to that 10,000 mark. Some of them get there, uh, but don't surpass it. This truck is able to tow 4,000 pounds more. That 4,000 pounds can mean a lot. It's still not as much as the diesel trucks will be able to pull, but for a light duty truck, this thing is knocking it out of the ballpark way past everything else in the class. Now comes the fun part for us drag racing enthusiasts. Uh, the zero to 60, which has never meant anything to me, but if it means something to you, will happen in 2.9 seconds. The quarter mile, which does mean something to me, is gonna happen in 10 seconds flat. And I would venture to think that after messing around with this thing a little bit, us car enthusiasts would probably be able to squeeze this thing into the nines for a factory pickup truck. Just take a minute to wrap your head around that one and I will give you three, two, one. All right, on to the next fact. Uh, actually, they did give us a demonstration of this um, this door 
stopper racing a Porsche 911 and you know these tests can always be a little bit suspect it did beat the Porsche 911 in a drag race one of the cool things is the truck will raise and lower right so if you're on the highway it'll be lower going for a you know more aerodynamic I guess ride and you know it'll look different than if you go off-road but if you go off-road the suspension can raise up and that will provide what Elon Musk claims to be the best in basically any truck no matter which direction you look uh, in all aspects it'll have a 35 inch approach angle 28 inch departure angle best in market and the last but certainly not least i found this to be super cool is that the air suspension will be able to be tapped into if you want to use your air tools the truck will also have 110 and 220 power sources so it'll act as a generator and an air compressor all in one vehicle so for guys like me at the racetrack that's uh, a little bit less equipment that you have to carry around. Could come in handy for a lot of people. I keep wanting to think that this thing isn't real, but if it is in fact real, then this is like basically as utilitarian based as it gets. It's probably more for those people who either somehow love this look or for those people who are like, you know, it's a truck, it needs to get the job done, and this thing can really get the job done in the package that it's in. In addition to all that, you know, it comes with all the electric car stuff, it has autopilot, uh, it'll have access to all the Tesla superchargers that are out there. It will basically be pennies on a dollar to operate when compared to a traditional combustion vehicle, and even pennies on pennies on a dollar when it comes to owning one of these damn diesels that I bought for some reason. And just nickel and dimes me to death with basically everything. So there will be three packages. Uh, the lowest range will be 250 miles. The next step up will be 300 miles and that will step all the way up to 500 miles in the top tier package. What is this thing gonna cost? This is the last category here. There's gonna be three different price points, okay? So for the first one, if you just wanna get into the basic one, it'll be $39,900. So basically call it 40 grand for a single motor rear wheel drive configuration. Uh, that'll step down the performance a little bit, zero to 60 in 6.5 seconds. 7,500 pound tow capacity. Uh, all of these trucks have 3,500 pounds of payload capability because I think that has more to do with suspension than power. So yeah, 3,500 of payload across the board. Uh, the second one up will step up from 40 to 50 grand, and the $50,000 one will be a dual motor all wheel drive setup, which will be zero to 60 in four and a half seconds, and will be right there at the top of the light duty pickup truck food chain with 10,000 pounds uh, worth of towing capability. And the tri-motor all wheel drive package will come in at $69,000, call it 70 grand, uh, zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds, and a 14,000 pound unheard of in the light duty pickup truck segment towing capability. So, as if that wasn't enough, they came out at the end of the show and they pulled out the fact that, hey, there's now a Tesla ATV too. These things are incredibly cool to look at, they're incredibly fun. Am I gonna go out and buy one right away? Probably not. Uh, will a lot of people? Probably. It's just new and exciting. It's going to be interesting to see uh, what kind of opinions come out on these things in the next couple days. But as of now, that is everything that we know about the Tesla Cybertruck. What do you think of this thing? Is it functional enough to offset those looks or do you enjoy the looks? Uh, let us know down in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you next time.